Hey mamas, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video I will be doing seven things that I cannot live without during Christmas. I am doing this video with my friend Stephanie Rose here on YouTube. She is so adorable you guys. She has three kids but what she does on her channel is a little different. She does do mommy lifestyle things but she also sings you guys and she does like children's type songs that your kids can listen to or you can listen to with your kids. It's so adorable so please go check her out even if just for that. Just go check her out um, and see what her channel's about. But she will also be putting out seven things that she can't live without during Christmas. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video and I will tell you my seven things and make sure to check hers out right after you watch mine. All right guys, let's get started. The seven things that I can't live without for Christmas are number one, holiday music. I cannot live without my holiday music. I listen to it all day. I have the um, Google Home, so I just tell it to play holiday music or Christmas music. And then in my car, there's like a radio station that's local and they play Christmas music and holiday music year, like, or not year round, but you know, um, 24 hours a day, like during the Christmas time. It's so fun. Anyway, so that's my number one thing. My top artist for the holidays has always been Mariah Carey. I love the All I Want For Christmas Is You song, or that whole album actually. Um, just has a lot of sentimental value since I was really little. Um, I don't even know when it came out, but ever since it came out, it's been a hit of mine. So that's my number one thing I cannot not, not live without. Like if anything else, I have time of music. If you can hear my son laughing, I'm sorry. So number two, um, I cannot live without Christmas Eve cookie making and gingerbread houses, which I'm going to be adding. So for Christmas Eve, we always bake cookies and stuff, and now it's going to be for Santa, for the kids, but normally we just bake cookies on Christmas and um, with friends and family, so I'm really excited to do that this year, but I'm going to be adding in gingerbread houses, and I got the kids these adorable gingerbread houses at Big Lots, you guys, 10 bucks each. I thought it was really cute, and there's like cartoony characters. I think there was like a My Little Pony. There was a few of them, you guys, but I let them pick out whatever they want. 10 bucks, I thought it was a good deal. And it's like themed, you know, with the cartoons. So, you know, I thought it'd be super cute. So I'm going to be adding that in this year and then doing that every single year thereafter. So that's something that we do every year. Number three, I cannot live without my Christmas spirit essential oil, you guys. I don't really use this for like therapeutic reasons, but this is like the best smell. It's like a cinnamon orangey citrus type smell. I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on this, Get it. Anyways, number four. What I cannot live without starting as of this year is going to be my Mrs. Myers holiday scents. So the Iowa pine and the peppermint are my favorite. There is one more. It's like an orange, orange clove maybe. I don't know. Um, but I haven't tried it yet. So, but these are my favorite as of right now. And I don't know what I'm gonna do if they don't have these next season. They better have them or something better else. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna start hoarding them, no. Um, so yes, Mrs. Myers Holiday Scents cannot live without as of this year. Uh, let's see, number five. I also can't live without driving around and seeing the Christmas lights. I do this almost every single day or night, I should say, just to see like the progress. And I start this right after Thanksgiving and I just kind of go around the neighborhood. Um, and then we just kind of see how they progress and like the new houses that come up and then, I don't know, it's just really fun. And then on Christmas Eve, we all go walk down into this little um, square that has like a bunch of lights on all these houses and we walk around the family and the they'll have like different activities in this little square, so super cute. It's just in our town. So that was something that I cannot live without. We do it every year. Um, and then after we have kids, we brought them with us, so. That was cool. Number six, um, I'm just looking down at my list. Uh, number six is putting up Christmas lights with my dad. This is like an annual thing since I could remember. Um, I always loved helping him put up the lights outside at our old house we lived in and then he actually lives like two streets over from us now. Um, so he does his lights still all decked out and then helps me with mine to get ours even more decked out. Like he was over last night putting up lights just in my yard, it was so fun. So. Yeah, my house is looking good and I will show you that soon. Um, so yeah, and then number seven, I cannot live without Elevenses. So this is something that came over from England with my family and basically what Elevenses is, like at 11 o'clock you eat little pastries and have your tea or coffee and um, 
you just kind of come together and sit down. Well, we kind of brought this into Christmas. So basically at 11 o'clock we have our 11s is, and that is when we start opening presents. So I've had to wait to open presents till 11 a.m. every single year of my entire life. So I don't know any different. All my friends had opened their presents at like 7 a.m., always had called me and I was always so anxious to do it, but I just waited. So I am keeping that tradition in my family. So this year we will be doing lessons at my dad's house and um, we'll be, you know, now it's kind of turned into like a brunch. So mimosas and I make this like egg bake dish, which I'm gonna definitely show you guys because it's super easy. I'll do it before Christmas so you guys can see. Um, and then my dad usually buys like the pastry or whatever he's, it's like a cinnamon roll or something like that. So really, really excited. And then we all eat and you know, the kids or I would have opened, started opening presents at this time. So, but now it'll be my kids and it's just going to be so much fun. So those are the seven things that I absolutely cannot live without during the holiday season. Yeah. I mean, if those were taken from me, I don't know, it wouldn't be the right season or it wouldn't be the right Christmas time for me. So anyways, make sure you go over to Stephanie's channel right now and I will link her below so that you can, can get to her video really quick. Um, make sure to subscribe because she does have cute little songs for the kiddos and it's so adorable. Like I just love her. So definitely check her out and make sure you like and subscribe and comment and everything so that I know that you stopped by because I love hearing from everybody. Tell me about what your seven things that you can't live without if you don't want to do a video or anything. Just tell me what your seven things are in the comments below or I tag you to do this video um, for the Christmas theme, this video was going around with seven things I can't live without in general, but Steffi and I put a little twist on it and did it for the holidays. So maybe you can do that as well because I want to know your seven things that you can't live without. Let's see. That's it, you guys. Tomorrow's going to be a DIY, um, DIY gifts with Jillian. I'm really excited for that. And then my holiday decor is going up Saturday, I promise. I'm going to get that up on Saturday figure out my computer situation and find out what's going on. I might have to re-record, but such is life, right? So that is it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.